Today we're in 2 Kings chapter 10. The spotlight is on Jehu, king of Israel, an instrument of God's judgment on those continuing in idol worship of Baal. Jehu follows the instruction of the Lord to exterminate this ungodly lifestyle that is deeply infecting the nation. Jehu had some great attributes that we can see. He was passionate, he was bold, strong, and willing to carry out the Lord's commands. There was, however, a crack in his character. There was a root of pride that is revealed in verse 16 when he boasts of his zeal for the Lord. After wiping out all the Baal worshipers and burning all the idols, he left the golden calves and permitted them to be worshiped. You see, Jehu was yet another servant sent by the Lord to deal with Israel in an attempt to get them to repent and to turn back to him. Drastic measures had to be taken and God's anger is clearly seen in this chapter. So what's the takeaway? The fault in Jehu, a mighty king with great zeal for the Lord, was that he allowed his pride and his position of power to share the throne of his heart on which God alone should have had exclusive rights. Brothers and sisters, you've been created with natural strengths and abilities God can use in powerful ways to further his kingdom and to express his nature to others. However, we must be fully surrendered to him and make no provision for the flesh. Beware of spiritual pride, desiring to be seen and praised by others. As Christians, we can find ourselves in danger when we begin to think that our spiritual strength and zeal makes us invincible to specific temptations and sins. So today, let's take heed to ourselves, take a humble position before the Lord and serve him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Whatever he's given your hands to do today, do it with excellence. Work hard and follow through with all he's called you to do. Live today to give God all the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due his name.